Google has just released Gemini File Search, their new rag as a service offering, and it's genuinely a solid product. But if you scroll through social media right now, you would think Google just invented something completely revolutionary. Various social media posts are calling it the best thing ever and unlike anything we have seen before. But here is the reality. While Gemini file search is well executed, RAG as a service isn't new at all. Several major providers, including OpenAI, Mistral, even some Chinese labs have been offering similar managed RAG solutions for a while now. The hype makes it sound like Google is the first to simplify document retrieval and grounding, but that's simply not the case. In this video, I am going to cut through the noise and show you a direct comparison between Google's Gemini file search and OpenAI's GPT knowledge feature, which is a similar service that's been available for quite some time. Let's see how they actually stack up against each other. Not only I am going to show you this comparison, but I will also be showing you a hands-on demo as how exactly both of these work. If this is the first time you are hearing about RAG, RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation is quite a powerful AI technique that enhances language model responses by combining two key capabilities information retrieval and text generation. So instead of relying only on models pre-trained knowledge, RAG systems first search through external documents or databases to find relevant information, then use that retrieved context to generate accurate, grounded responses. So as I mentioned earlier, we are going to compare two major RAG implementations, Google's Gemini file search and OpenAI's GPT knowledge feature in this video. Both tech giants have made RAG accessible to developers, but they have taken different approaches. I'm going to examine how each platform handles file uploads, indexing, retrieval and pricing. By the end, you will understand which solution best fits your use case without any hype, without any fluff, whether you are building a customer support chatbot, an internal knowledge base or a document analysis tool, we are going to have a detailed look. So if you look here, there is scale and flexibility. Google's Gemini file search clearly wins in terms of scalability and flexibility when it when it is compared to OpenAI and various other providers. With support for unlimited files per store and up to 1 TB of total storage on higher tiers, it is designed for enterprise scale knowledge bases. OpenAI's 20 file limit, while sufficient for many use cases, it feels quite restrictive for organizations with extensive documentations. But OpenAI's 512 MB per file limit and 2 million token capacity per file means you can pack more information into fewer files, partially offsetting the file count restriction. Also, if you look at uh, maybe pricing, the pricing approach shows fundamentally different business strategies. Google has unbundled rack costs, so you pay a small one-time indexing fee but storage and query embeddings are completely free. This makes cost highly predictable and extremely affordable for high query volume applications. OpenAI bundles everything into their subscription model, which is simpler but less transparent. For developers running thousands of queries daily, Google's model could result in significant savings. And for occasional user or those already paying for ChatGPT Plus or GPT-5 API access, OpenAI's bundled approach might feel more convenient, but these are very fluid things and depend on a lot of things like enterprise discount and stuff. So do your own due diligence around your own pricing model as per your own region. Then comes, as you can see, the developer experience, which is very, very important. OpenAI prioritizes simplicity with its GPT Builder UI, making RAG accessible even to non-tech users. You can upload files through a graphical interface and the system handles everything automatically. This is perfect for quick prototypes or internal tools where technical team members might not be available. 
Google's approach is API first, requiring code to upload, index, and query files. While this demands more technical expertise upfront, it offers far greater automation potential and integration capabilities. You can programmatically update your knowledge base, manage multiple stores, and integrate RAG into complex workflows, something impossible with OpenAI's UI-centric approach. An interesting technical difference lies in retrieval methods. OpenAI offers two distinct approaches. One is semantic search for Q&A style queries and document review for summarization or translation tasks that require full document context. Google currently focus, focuses on semantic search with automatic chunking. This gives OpenAI a slight edge in my opinion for applications that need whole document understanding. The Google system can still retrieve multiple relevant chunks to provide comprehensive context. Google emphasizes automatic citations as a core feature, always showing exactly which document and section informed each response. This is crucial for applications in regulated industries, legal search or anywhere Verify, verifiability matters. OpenAI supports citations but treat them as optional. You must explicitly instruct your GPT to cite sources. This flexibility might appeal to some users and use cases, but Google's mandatory approach better serves the grounded AI paradigm where reducing hallucinations is paramount. So look, I think both of these platforms are serving different sweet spots in my opinion. Google's file search excels for dynamic large-scale applications uh, like, you know, customer support systems curing thousands of tickets, corporate knowledge bases with constantly updating policies. Whereas, um, I think this whole API-driven approach supports automated workflows and real-time updates. OpenAI's knowledge feature shines for stable curated content like for employee handbook, educational curriculum, product documentation or even brand guidelines. So I think both are good, but if you need privacy and local, then I think you should go with something local like Milvus, Pinecone, Viviet, and there are a lot of other options out there. Now, having said that, let me show you how you can run them. So this is a code. The first code is for OpenAI. All I'm doing it, I'm just putting in my OpenAI API key. You can also grab it from platform.openai.com. And then I'm giving it my local file, which is simple PDF file. One paragraph contains information about myself. The question I'm asking is that who is Fahad Mirza? If I just go down here, this is what I'm asking. And the same simple script, which is um, chunking it, embedding it, and then getting the data back. Similarly, for Gemini, same document, same question, and you can see it is simpler than the OpenAI one. These are few lines, that's it. You don't have to worry much. So Google's implementation is definitely way more simpler, though not unique. So let me first now go to my terminal, and I'm going to use this Ubuntu system, and I am going to run both of these one by one. Also, if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Now, before even you run the script, you need to install these two packages. One is for Google's Gen I, the other one is for OpenAI. And that is also done. For the Google one, by the way, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab this Gemini API key from my uh, aistudio.google.com that's a free uh, key with lot of generous credit so that is what i'm going to use but you can also use google's vertex ai which is their google cloud uh, platform hosted api offering okay so everything is installed keys are set let me now run the scripts and there you go so this is what i have run with the google and you can see that it just created a store where it stored my file and then after uploading it, it indexed, uh, indexed it or chunked it, converted it into numerical representation. And this is a question which I asked and it has given me a very grounded answer right from this document from my local system. Okay, so this is actually quite quick and fast. Next up, let me run it with OpenAI. And the OpenAI one is also quite quick, but Google one was good. It just took 
open ai took around 5 seconds the google one took around 2 seconds to come back but similar stuff they have created the rag assistant or store and then they have process security given me the response both responses are totally according to my document local document so both are quite grounded and right as per the context so look as i said earlier nothing unique here but google's implementation is simpler and you already saw the full comparison that's it let me know what do you think again please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member because membership is what drives this uh, channel and keeps the lights on and i really really i'm very grateful to all of these members who are supporting me and the channel so huge respect thank you very much